Is there any hope for those fallen ones? What you take in your hands will determine your destiny. So here I'm sitting all day and writing again with this uh, hardcover notebook by Lady also. And I have a highliner over here. Boss, what is it? Uh, yeah, Stabilo Boss Original. And we're going to start pulling out some wisdom over here. There had to be more to life, the pink character thought. The professionals always told her, though, that this is all there is. So, is there more to life than this? Okay, for this pen, it's clearly so that you should be using a hard cover. And for the cheaper ones like this one, uh, you should be using a booklet like this. So they have kind of designed their products, you know, to kind of match. It's very nice that the same manufacturer, you know, manufactures um, the notebook and the pen. So the feel of it is, you know, very matching. Okay, here's a question. Am I being too hard on myself? Yeah, it's one of those things that some people think that, you know, discipline and being hard on yourself, it brings about, you know, misery. And I'm gonna say that that might be right, but uh, it also brings about self-respect and at least for me, you know, that's the price I'm willing to pay for being a little bit hard on myself. Okay, here. Could I get a better end result by being a little bit more easy on myself? Yeah, it's one of those questions that you kind of think that if I want to reach this certain, you know, end goal, I have to be this way. It's just your kind of basic mentality of life that if I want to see results, you know, I have to be, you know, strict and I have to be disciplined, you know. There's no result without discipline. Okay, here's one of the questions. What if I hurt myself being so disciplined and end up in a hospital? Usually it is the way that people can muster anything out of themselves and they more hurt themselves by, you know, neglecting and abusing stuff like the drugs and uh, substances and being so stationary in their life, sitting on the couch all day. And they kind of hurt themselves in the long run by that. But then there's also kind of the other way that you can help hurt yourself by too much discipline. I okay, here I wrote that it's very many times that the hands end up hurting the rest of the body. And yeah, you have seen that so many times that people use their hands to hurt themselves, you know. They cut themselves and they uh, abuse alcohol, you know. You need your hands probably for that. They take pills, you know, the, all of the stuff that you do with your hands. So, here's an idea for you. If you have a tendency of harming yourself, you should try fountain pen writing. Why is that? Well, it gives your hands something to do. But on top of that, it develops your mind. And it also helps you to kind of process all the stuff. Take the most out of each day and you will see amazing things happen. Yeah, think about it. It's that mentality of having something or having even a little bit of something and taking the most out of it, you know. We have the days, most of us have quite many days in front of us and quite many days behind of us. And we can take the most out of this day and use it for good and betterment. Or we can use it for our demise and destruction. Okay, here's one thought. If I could make these videos more visually pleasing, that would be nice. So, I'm an artist, so I kind of understand how to create visually pleasing environments and how to create visually pleasing scenes and that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's it for the writing uh, today, or at least in this session my hand kind of hurts, so I'm heading to the computer to edit some video and stay tuned for this channel and keep watching my videos i'm trying to give you kind of couple of ideas and make you see some of your abilities and yeah